So this is something new I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start reviewing products and kind of giving you my take on them. It's a Honeywell power supply. It's a HPFF8. Uh, it's to power up the hack circuits out in the field. Uh, so here's the sticker on it. So it gives it gives a pretty detailed sticker. One thing I don't like about it is you notice here. So auxiliary has got a plus, minus, battery shows plus and minus. But you gotta have the manual and a lot of people don't leave the manual anymore. So it says 1L1, 1L2. It wouldn't have been hard for them to put a minus and a plus. Minus and a plus, minus and a plus. You know, because it, it doesn't stay the same pattern right here. See, that's plus and then minus. Plus and then minus. So you would think, okay, well, maybe they did the same pattern, plus and then minus. Now they flip flopped it and went uh, negative and plus. So up here on the signals, inputs and outputs, they put the plus and minus. We wiring up for the field wiring, they didn't. So it gives you the option for ground fault disabled. I highly recommend never doing that. Uh, and also another thing too, see right here, L1, ground, and L2. How hard would it have been to say hot, ground, and negative? You know, a lot of guys in the field aren't electricians, so they don't know what L1 and L2 does. So, um, that's just my only, uh, only gripes about it, really. Uh, so I'm gonna show you on the board here. It's not labeled on here either, like plus or minus. Uh, the things I really like about this, plenty of space, as you can see here. I just got my screwdriver in there because I'm actually working in this panel, getting it wired up. Separate power supply from the actual board. So this part goes bad, you can replace it. Uh, on there, it's got a fuse link uh, for the charging port, I'm assuming. It's like if uh, you accidentally short those together, instead of blowing a component on the board, it blows this fuse. Uh, so you can replace the fuse instead of having to replace the whole board. Uh, I like that feature a lot. Over here, so if there's a trouble on here, on these LEDs, and the trouble, like is it intermittent trouble? Let's see if I can get that same in on there. There we go. So if one of those has an intermittent trouble, whenever you come out here, instead of it showing a normal panel, the where you had the trouble will be blinking. So you know that's the circuit that had the trouble on it. So you can go out there in the field and start looking on that circuit, but a lot of panels don't do that. They'll just go back to being normal and, and don't blink and let you know which one it was. So you think, well, what do you do to clear that completely out? So what I do every time after I'm troubleshooting uh, on it and I'm done troubleshooting, I'm going to reach up here, hit the reset button. That little reset button will clear this and reset the panel itself. Uh, also, it has a reference resistor point. So let's say if you're going out there and you've got a simplex uh, wiring or whatever, you got system sensor or Gentex or wheel lock, whatever. It'll have an end of line resistor. You just match up that end of line resistor right there. Uh, and you can change what end of line resistor it's looking for. Uh, it monitors your troubles through the circuit itself. Uh, it bonds your ground to the panel right here. I like that. It comes like that with the factory. Uh, like I said, I don't dis I never disable ground fault detection. You know, if it's got ground fault on it, replace the panel. Also for your sink options, you got a set of dip switches right here. So, uh, and you got a set of contact troubles, external contact troubles for AC fail and trouble. Like I said, you get troubles, 
it'll pick it up on your firing wire on the input. So you just go from an output on a panel, regular NAC circuit output, come over here, wire it into the signal one input, and then you put the resistor for that panel, 4.6 in this case, put it right there on the output side. So if it gets a trouble on the panel here, I'll break that and send it over here to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, really, uh, I think this is a really awesome NAC panel. You know, the main things I like about it, the re reference resistor, plenty of space for my wiring and batteries and stuff like that. Uh, and, like I said, it keeps that trouble on there for troubleshooting purposes. I'm a troubleshooter, not an installer. So, this panel, I really like coming to work on it. Um, so, please like and subscribe and give me a uh, tap the bell. My daughter, my 11 year old daughter, told me I need to start saying that on all my videos. She's going to be a pretty good troubleshooter by watching all this stuff. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I'll try to start doing panel reviews whenever I install one and kind of let you know what I think about it and if I work on one, what I think about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.